All right, so this is pretty much everything that I feel like I'm going to have to bring on our trip doing the presidential traverse. Uh, we're doing it on June 2nd, so it's not going to be super warm, but it's not going to be super cold. Um, and also, we aren't doing Mount Pierce and Mount Jackson because basically we just did them last weekend. Um, so... And we want to do a loop rather than to take two vehicles because if you do the full traverse, there's no way to do it as a loop. You have to do from one end to the other and get a ride from one side back. So we're going to do it as a loop starting at the Pinkham Notch Joe Dodge Lodge. <laughs> and um, we're going to go for one night, probably stay at the Osgood tent site. Um, so my two crazy partners say that they're sleeping under the stars. I, however, am going to be bringing my one man tent. Um, so I have everything here except obviously my extra layer of clothes that I'll be wearing and, uh, water and all my snacks. Basically I'll be eating snacks. I'll have my mountain house for the, um, night and my Rome for the morning but other than that it's just going to be all snacks all the time so uh get as many good carbs in me as i can get um the pack i'm going to be using is my um, north face terra 50 it's a 50 liter plus like five i think um it's got the bottom pouch that that unzips so it opens back down and gives you like an extra 15 liters or something it's got the big um head unit on it that sometimes it gets floppy but once it fills up it extends up and it, it's everything is pretty nice and tight on this pack um so i have a really cheap sleeping bag but okay so here my reasoning for this my sleeping bag to me in the summer is basically something to make me feel comfortable while it's over me. I can't sleep with no blankets. So basically my sleeping bag in the summer, because it's so hot, I don't even want a blanket anyway, but just to feel comfortable, I have a blanket. So this is something that I don't want to spend a lot of money on, which I didn't. Now, it definitely makes it bigger because I didn't spend as much money as I should have. And gone with a smaller one that compacts easier but it's light it weighs two pounds i could probably get it smaller than this i'm gonna have to try before i get it into the pack um so that's my sleeping pad it's it's my sleep that's my sleeping pad it's my sleeping bag it goes down pretty um pretty cold actually like 50 degree maybe 40 degree and so that's my reasoning behind having such a big pack is the reason is because it's cheap because I don't want to spend money on it because I don't even really need the thing. So uh, something that I definitely always need and always bring, plenty of socks. I have regular cotton socks. I have wool socks that um, I use for hiking and then wool socks that I use for relaxing. See how fluffy they are. Um, these look really rough on camera, but they're extremely comfortable and extremely thick. So these ones are like while we're hanging out by the fire, get me comfortable so I can fall asleep. These ones are uh, doubles in case I need to double while I'm hiking. And these are basically for when I get back to the car to put on nice fresh socks. Um, Summit hat. Up on top, that's the thing about doing the presidential traverse, see, is up on top, um, last year we did Washington and Jefferson and it was 80 degrees uh, at sea level, or not sea level, but down below. And up on the top of Washington and in the ridgeline, it was about 45 degrees and 100 mile an hour winds. So, um, yeah, treacherous. Uh, hats and gloves and overcoats were definitely needed. So I have, I'm not going overboard on my gloves. I'm just bringing my liners for my EMS mittens. Um, these are pretty thick and I believe they work with um, sliding on the cell phone. Uh, my ice crimps just in case because there is still snow up there and just in case there's some ice I think I'm going to bring these. Um, I probably won't need them. We just did Pierce last weekend and I only needed them coming down. 
I'm going to bring them just in case because there was uh, quite a bit of snow still up there in some spots. So um, this is uh, uh, extra power for my cell phone in case we need to keep, make sure these are extra charged so that if we need it, um, we can try to get a signal on our cell phone. And I take a lot of pictures and do a lot of videos, so I need a little extra battery. Um, always have a headlamp. Uh, these cheaper Energizer ones, like not a Petzl one, like in my, I also bring this everywhere I go. This is like my little safety pack. Uh, you see chapstick in there, compass, um, extra food, some burnables. And in there is also my Petzl um, headlamp. And this Petzl headlamp in here was like, triple what this was and this thing is super bright so energizer i got it at home depot i think for like 20 bucks and it was it this thing is badass so um rome oatmeal i think i told you about this in my last video this stuff is great it's super high carb but good carbs obviously because we're talking about oats and stuff um 320 calories 40 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein. It gets you going in the morning. And this is one of my favorites is the uh, cinnamon pecan. I actually really like the coconut one that they have, coconut almond. But um, cinnamon pecan is really good. And then the chocolate peanut butter is, is pretty good. So I have my morning and then my mountain house beef stew. This is from 2013. I'm not sure if this is still good, but I can't find an expiration date. I think freeze dried is good forever. Tear me up in the comments. Let me know <laughs> if I'm if I'm just stupid and these are good forever because I think they are. So I'm just gonna bring it with me. But um, sleeping pad, probably the heaviest and bulkiest thing, but definitely necessary. Um, sleeping on the ground. I'm getting older. Sleeping on the ground kills me sometimes, especially after doing um, some strenuous hiking. You know, I I really need a pad on the ground. So the pad and then, yes, boys, I'm doing it. I'm bringing my one-man tent, a um, little extra weight. But for me, it's a little more comfortable to sleep inside a tent rather than uh, outside of a tent and less bugs. And then last but not least, well, I have um, a couple more things. My rain cover always should have – this is really small uh, – should – Always have a good rain cover for your pack. Cover it up. This one works great. Um, you can spray it with the waterproofing spray that you put for boots. You can spray that right on here every time you use it. And these things basically last forever. Uh, my North Face shell. This is just the shell. I unzipped, took out the liner. So when we get up on the summit uh, and the ridge lines, it could be a little windy and cold. Uh, and this is waterproof as well. And then uh, last but not least is my fat wood. This stuff will light with a lighter up to it. So it's great to have some of this stuff in case something goes wrong. And then at night when we want to start our fire, um, this stuff will definitely start it up with ease and we'll be able to keep it going. Um, and uh, nothing ups your motivation like some fire. So small price to pay to have fire. So this is everything I got, everything I'm bringing. Just add water. <laughs> Presidential Traverse, June 2nd.